So Windows 10 has officially reached its end of life. Yes, there is a way of getting a few more months of updates. If you're prepared to sign in using a Microsoft account, sync all your settings up to Google Cloud, or even give Microsoft some money. But ultimately, Windows 10 will die, just like Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, and so on. The big difference, of course, is this time is that the hardware requirements for Windows 11 are a bit more higher, a bit more stringent, and it is estimated there are millions, even hundreds of millions of PCs that can't install Windows 11. Now you've got different options, of course, you can carry on with Windows 10, take your chances with the security risks there. You could try and force on Windows 11 using some of the various hacks that exist, or you could switch over to Linux. And to celebrate the uh, demise of Windows 10, a new version of Zorin OS has been released. This is Zorin OS version 18. Now I did a previous video on Zorin OS when it was Zorin OS 17, and I want to address some of the things that came up in the comments. One of them is that people say you have to pay for it. Well, you don't. Zorin OS Core is completely free, and it's a full Linux distro. You can do absolutely everything on it. Zorin OS Pro is basically a way of getting tech support and also a way of thanking the Zorin OS uh, team. But Zorin OS Core is fully functional. Now installing version 18 is very much the same as installing version 17. You need to download the ISO file. You need to put that onto a flash disk, flash it over onto a flash disk using something like Belena Etcher. If you don't like that piece of software, they do recommend some other ones, including Rufus. And once you have that, you need to boot off the USB drive and then go through the various steps for the install process. Now this version will be supported until 2029 and what I want to do is show you Zorin OS 18 in action. I'm mainly going to focus on the new features that you get with it, other stuff you can find in my previous videos, though I will along the way just show you some bits and pieces. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okie dokie then, here we are on the Zorin 18 desktop, and it's a bit of a refined desktop to previous versions, version 17, there's done some tweaks with the themes. Let's give you a very, very quick desktop tour. Down here in the bottom left hand corner, you've got the start menu, we'll go into that more in a minute. And then you've got the things you've kind of pinned to the taskbar, the web browser, the file app, and the way to install more software. Over here on the right hand side, you've got the clock and the dock. Even in here, you can click on this to, you know, uh, allow you to shut down or lock the screen. The normal things you'd expect on a desktop. Okay, so let's launch the file app. You just click down here where it says files. And I'm doing that because I want to show you the new tiling feature. So if you grab it anywhere here on the title bar and you go up here, you can place it in any of these uh, places you want. So let's just go with a three uh, column approach so we can actually launch our web browser as well. And when we can take that up and put it into the middle column and we can launch the software center, the kind of the app store as it were, and we can put that in there like that. Or of course you can do any other combination of things that you want. For example, if you just drag it all the way to one side, you get automatically split screen. If you take it all the way to the top, automatically full screen. Of course you can still use the three buttons in the top right hand corner of the window, just like you would on other operating systems to change the sizes of that. Now, one easy way to switch over from Windows to Linux, for example, is to use web-based versions of the apps that may be used all the time. So here I am on the Microsoft Office 365 website using the Brave browser, which I launched from down here in the left-hand column. And of course, you get access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Of course, Microsoft have their own subscriptions and all that kind of stuff. Won't go into that now. Now, one clever thing that's built into Zorin 18 is the idea of web apps so you can run a website but kind of like as an app you just click on it in the start menu and you get it so let me show this if i go over to here to word okay and here i can just cut and paste this url uh up to that bit there because that's all i really need the microsoft bit now what i do is i just close this for a moment i uh, go down here to the start menu and then to internet and then to web apps i want to add a new web app and I can, you know, go ahead, what's this word? I can give it the address. I just cut and paste from there, find some icons. This should be good. Okay, I'll just pick the nice word icon there and then that's it, okay. And there it is, it's inside of uh, this web apps. And I could just go ahead and launch it here, but more interestingly, I can go down here to the start menu, web, and here is Microsoft Word. In fact, I can actually pin this to the uh, taskbar, to the dash, they call it. So there it is down here now on the bottom left-hand corner. So if I go down here and click on that, 
up comes Word, but look, there's no browser bar here. This just looks like a normal app that I can go full screen and it's down here on the taskbar. And so there you go. I'm actually using Word, the online version in a web app uh, and it's there in my start menu. So that's a really good way to kind of move over and use the online services and have them fully integrated into your desktop. Now, talking of integration, another thing you can do, if you go down to the start menu here and then into settings, one thing we can actually use is the online accounts. And I can actually sign up to my Microsoft 365 and OneDrive account and get that integrated again directly into the desktop and along with other services like from Google and so on. Now, if I wanted to run Microsoft Office, which is possible by using Wine, that's kind of the Windows app, uh, compatibility layer. It's not 100% perfect, but it does give you a good shot at running some Windows software. So if I went down here to Files and into my Downloads folder, here you can see I've got Office Setup.exe. Just before I go any further, just want to show you, you can also do that by going down to the Start menu here and just clicking Download, and that'll bring up the same thing. Now, look at this great feature they've got built into Zorin 18. If you double click on this, it says, oh, you know, you can use LibreOffice, which is pre-installed, or you could use the web. Now, do you want to go to the web or do you want to install the Windows compatibility layer, install Windows app support? So that reminds me that there are alternatives and that's really the key to switching over to Linux, not trying to get a Windows clone without Microsoft. It's actually to find yourself new solutions to your existing uh, problems. So you go over to here now and you go to Office. And of course, we've already got LibreOffice. It's got a document editor, it's got a uh, spreadsheet, it's got a slide creator and so on. So let's just start up the writer here. This is a document. What a brilliant piece of literature. So okay look and now th this is basically your standard kind of thing. I use LibreOffice on Windows I you know, as well. It's my go-to uh, office suite so rather than having to get Microsoft's one and you can use it on Linux you can use it on Mac so it's great it's cross-platform and so another thing to do is rather than use the existing apps that you used to you can use alternative ones which are just as good. So one final thing to show you is if you do want some other software to install, you're looking for some particular things, then there is this software center, which is kind of like an app store, basically. So here they just give you loads of recommendations of all the different things you could want in different categories, you know, create and so on. And if you want to search for a particular thing, let's say VLC, I use VLC again, cross platform. I can go ahead and install that. Or even if I wanted to install a Chrome, I can go ahead and uh, install Google Chrome. So, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever you're used to, there's a good chance that it's already there inside of the software center, the app store. And the final thing, if you can uh, lock the screen so you can go away and it's locked and then you need a password to get back into it. Or of course you can shut down. So you go over to here, hit the shutdown. And what do you wanna do? Suspend, restart or power off. I'm gonna go with power off. And that's it. Bye bye Zorin 18 for the moment. Okay, so there you have it. Zorin OS version 18. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>